Wait a minute. What do you do about what do you do about the secret characters in MSH VSF and M MVC one? <gasps> no way! No! <gasps> ah! Let's go! It has rollback chat. Enjoy your favorite games in single player and online. Play both co-op and competitively, just like back in the arcade. Take on players from all over the world. Enjoy documents, training modes, new filter settings. Even if it's your first time, one button EX moves. For us, rollback netcode will be made for smooth, enjoyable online matches. The Fighting Collection series. Whoa! It's a part of a it's a part of a series from the first one. Like, wait a minute. Capcom versus SNK fighting collection in the future? Bro, this is now a series? Enjoy playing with people from all over the world, whether casually or competitively. Rollback netcode. Dude, the Punisher has co-op spectating? What the hell? It's everything. It's, it's absolutely everything. The thing is, it could have been just Marvel 2, right? It could have been just Marvel 2. That's it. Bye-bye. And that could have been like 20, 30 bucks. Does it have the option to lower flashing lights? Uh, the older games do, right? MVC one especially was the the biggest issue, and I'm sure it, I'm sure they did. I'm sure they actually made those adjustments. Gotcha, right here. Crossplay between platforms is not supported. Okay, so they already committed to that. I guess that makes sense because Capcom has barely really put their foot into like crossplay yet. They're like just starting. And this could possibly because of like the Switch version. Maybe, just maybe. No Xbox is the, probably the weirdest part. Yeah, no kidding. Do you think they'll do a physical release? Bro, I hope so. I have physical copies of Capcom Fighting Collection. Dude, this being on the Switch is the best call. Is the absolute best call. The Switch is where everyone's gonna wanna play this shit. Everybody. How many years have I been waiting for this? I've been waiting for this moment since the late 2010s. It says 2024. I, I've legit been waiting for this since the late 2010s. The last time there was a Capcom fighting collection was 2012. Or a, a, a Marvel vs. Capcom collection, and it was just Marvel superheroes and MVC1. Oh my god, they're giving us ROM versions. Oh hell yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute, bro. Are you- how many X-Men vs. Street Fighter ROMs are we getting? Only two. Which one is this? This isn't the patched one, is it? The last version with like no wall bounce infinites and shit? That's the patched one. Oh no! Is this the- is this the good one? Or is this the one that- that legit has like all the corner infinites sort of patched out? Oh! There you go. They removed the screen flashing. Dude, they got into the ROMs. This actually looks weird now with no screen flashing. Check it out. Yeah. They got rid of the screen flashing. Only MVC1 is the game that allows you to turn the screen flash on and off. X-Men versus Street Fighter, it's, you could not change it. So you could save your eyes. Yeah, and it looks weird because it's supposed to be there. Yeah, they're releasing it on physical so they can't take it away from us later. <laughs> Actually released on physical so we, we, it does not get taken away from us later. <laughs> Thank you. God damn, dude. More, more actual news here. This is a huge deal. This is the first time a 3D Capcom fighting game has been ported since like the 90s slash early 2000s. The first time. I want to see the backgrounds. I'm really curious if the game is rendering at a higher res. Capcom presents. Or if they're sticking to MU. Will we have to unlock characters? I hope not. No, you don't. Straight up, you don't. This is them loading up the game. They, all the characters are unlocked. So here's the thing. It is not the Dreamcast version, right? So they can just choose the dip switch settings to have the characters unlocked. This is not the Dreamcast version. This is a, this is a port of the arcade version, which for, I'm, I'm sure some Marvel heads, some Marvel 2 heads might not like this. No, PS2 version's actually the worst version. PS2 version's missing animations. Ready? 
I can't believe it, dude. You said 3D, not 2D? This is a 3D game. This is a 3D Capcom game. The backgrounds in this game are 3D. The gameplay is 2D, but this is... The, the 3D Capcom games haven't been ported because they have not been able to emulate these games yet successfully and then release them. It's a 3D game. Bro, show me the gameplay. Yes. Wow. So, it definitely is running an emulation at near internal res. It's not crazy resolution upscaled, similar to what was going, because look at all the aliasing going on down here. Uh, this is running at like sort of the native like 480p upscaled that the original version runs at, that like the Naomi version runs at. Meaning that it's, it's different than the port that came out in 08. Right? It's different. It looks slower because it's put on normal. Yeah, no, the, the, the game defaults to normal speed. It looks really slow. But that's, that's just the, the demonstration mode. This is so crazy. This is so crazy. Totally fine. Don't get me wrong. Totally fine. We have never had a faithful port of the arcade version of Marvel 2. Even the Dreamcast version is different. Has some different shit. I don't think we're getting widescreen settings because this is not a remake. Uh, again, MVC2 on Xbox 360, PS3 was practically a remake. They went in and they like re-engineered that game, but it also fucked up several things in it. Like several things that are from the arcade version just don't work in that game. Story! The armor of erosion, it was supposed to be, dude, they're actually getting into the story from the Japanese manual. It was supposed to be nothing but a fairy tale, but now it's here and the end is approaching. The wheels of fate have brought forth a disaster of untold proportions. Marine life is twisted by the evil wind that, blow, that blows in from the deep ocean, but light shines the brightest and the deepest of dark and our heroes have gathered. Their destination, the deep abyss known as the Sea of Genesis. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> Actual NBC2 lore that you would never get unless you had like the Japanese manual. Literal Ruby Heart lore, because Ruby Heart's the main character of the game. Oh, changes! Screen flashing cannot be reduced. Enable via game settings. Oh! Effects hit animations, start of rounds, continue screen, and defeat animations. Bro, they have game change listings. Oh! Scrolling down. Oh! Akuma! <laughs> Wait! Oh, Jesus! Dude, this website's incredible! Juggernaut and Magneto are playable? Magneto's not normally playable in Coda, dude. Yo, what? What? This at what? No. The only way you can play these is these characters is hacked ROMs. Does that mean, well, they definitely made Doom and Anita playable. Hold up. Yup. Doom, Thanos, and Anita playable. Oh, shit. Oh my god, this is so incredibly fucking cool. They're banned. Don't get me wrong, Anita is fucked up. She can actually kill you from block. <laughs> she can actually kill you just from blocking. There's no, there's no hidden characters in this. Oh my god, dude, look at this shit. Look at it! Yeah, screen flashing effects. Wait a minute, what do you do about, what do you do about the secret characters in MSH, VSF, and M MVC1? <gasps> no way! No! <gasps> ah! <gasps> ah! Holy shit! The only chat, the only way this has ever been possible is by hacking the ROMs. This has never been available. As soon as I saw his bitch ass down here, I could not believe it. No, Noramaro's removed. That I'm not surprised on. That was a weird crossover back in the day. That is a weird crossover. We can, still, we can still play that, but that makes perfect sense why that, that actor was removed. Marvel 1, 
here's here's the thing marvel one and and msh vsf have a ton of secret characters a ton an unprecedented evil bears down upon earth our heroes face their most powerful opponent yet onslaught total annihilation slowly approaches the human race all hopes and dreams have been crushed into powder great heroes now is the time to take to the skies we need you now more than ever holy shit dude this is fucking amazing oh my god this is fucking amazing oh my god uh they're sticking roll in here roll is going to be default selectable okay so they're not saying it but i'm curious if you just select like up and over if you get the say, the hidden characters you fuckers get off the website get off the why did i put that in the chat why did i put that in the chat all I can do is scroll through this now. I was looking at this shit. I did not mean to DDoS the website. I feel like I, I've been dreaming. I've literally dreamt about this shit. I've had dreams. And then I have to wake up to a, to a world where this shit is gone and dead and you have to accept that. Like that is where my headspace has been for like six plus years. Now we need a Marvel 3 update. <gasps> Dude. It could happen. <laughs> That's what's fucking crazy now. It could happen. We're in the one, dude. We are actually in the one. This has been a command. This has been a Nightbot command on my channel for about five or six years. You have a 14,605 chance for another Marvel vs. Capcom game. One in 14,605. It's the goddamn odds that Doctor Strange gives Tony Stark for them winning the Infinity War. Everything needs to line up perfectly. We're in the one, dude. We fucking did it. I don't know how, but we did it. <laughs> Do I have it? Do I have it? Hold up. I have it, dude. It's still here. It's still here. <laughs> I still have it. All right, here we go. Let's find out what's going on in MVC7. I'll tell you, this is actually possible now. Wow, geez, this is crazy. That's nuts. I didn't know that was going to happen. Maximum salt addition. I went to a Kinko's, all right? And I got some tape for when we did Assist Me for Marvel Origins. Bro, we can watch the Marvel Origins shit again and cringe the fuck out. Yeah, so Coda, you actually, for the first time ever, can play as Juggernaut and Magneto. Ever. These are like the best versions of these games. And if we get if we get confirmation, so the only game in here that we want the unpatched version because it's more fun is X-Men vs. Street Fighter. X-Men vs. Street Fighter has these corner infinites, right? And they are cool, right? I could not process this shit. I, I could, I, I, it wasn't even until after we watched the trailers and everything where it actually hit me. Because in, in my head, I had completely accepted that like my favorite thing is just dead. And that's it. That is, that is where I have to leave it. I have to come to that acceptance, you know, which is why the MVCI and beyond thing was sort of cathartic for me that, oh, we're fixing the thing that made everybody hate it. Right, we're doing something to it that made everybody dis that dislike this, right? And trying to try to do something and show people why it's fun in some way, you know. So all I'm saying is that I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Right at the, and this is happening right at the same time as the MVCI shit. I don't. It feels like Marvel's back. I, I got to tell you, as someone that likes Marvel versus Capcom as much as I do the whole series, not just one game or two games. Uh, MVCI like hurt, right? And it wasn't just the fact that it it wasn't the game we all wanted. It was the fact that for the first time in MVC history, people didn't like MVC. It was like not what people were exactly looking for. Even though I still I still had things I enjoyed about it. So for it to be it to be like seven years later, and now we re we bring that game back and just have like a new coat of paint on it and show people that, hey, this can be really cool. Check this out to get a bunch of people excited for MVCIB. Uh, it, it was like catharsis for me. It was like a healing a wound that had been stuck in me for a hell of a long time because I was the epicenter of that. I was the epicenter of all like the ire and the people that like this, but I couldn't criticize it for I, I, it was terrible.
just to, just to see people dislike the thing that I like so much. It, it hurt. And I had to eventually just let that go and just be like, you know what, that, that it is what it is. This is, this is why I knew the healing process of this franchise was going to be with this game. The only way we can get Marvel vs. Capcom to heal is to bring the world together again in the game that I know can be successful no matter what. Like, it won't be an update to Marvel 3, technically. It will not technically be an update to MVCI. No, no, no. If there's a game that I can get the world to rally behind and get everybody, you know, back behind this series in some way, it's Marvel 2. Who doesn't like Marvel 2? And Marvel 2 had a story. It was locked behind licensing hell. You can't even, you can't even own it anymore. You can't even buy it. It was pretty clear that let's just start a campaign about that story on Twitter back in 2021. And yeah, let's get people to, to get behind Marvel vs. Capcom again. Let's just do it. Let's, and and if, if there's the game that's going to do it, it's this one. This game is, it's, it's a goddamn travesty. This is considered one of the greatest games of all time. And you can't buy it, dude. What the hell is going on? Long story short, for anybody that doesn't know what happened with the free Marvel 2 movement, it blew up. Fucking Michael B. Jordan and celebrities and shit are all talking about it. Like all the huge influencers like Eagle Raptor. Everyone is like, yeah, bro, what the hell? It blew up. I didn't do it. I can't take credit for that. You guys showed up so much. All you did was just reinforce my thought process. All, all everybody did. The, the, it got it to like top three trending in the world type shit back in 2021 for a couple of days. All you guys did was just reinforce what I've always felt was that, yes, if, if we're going to, if this franchise is going to come back in some way, if we're going to make people love this shit again, it's with this game. This game will be the one. Granted, all the games is amazing. Like all of them is like, oh my God, it's the perfect time for that with X-Men 97. But re for real, y'all showed up. People made videos. People started talking about it. Like we did everything we possibly could as a fan base to get the eyes and ears and the attention of Marvel and Capcom. And they, 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 they did it. They legit did it. It goes to show you how long it takes for this stuff to happen. It took a while, but still buying the art, buying the arcade one up cabinet helped. So I have to explain the arcade one up was the next closest thing, but there was a difference in the, in the arcade one up and the arcade one up is a toy, right? That's different than an actual console game. It's different than a game. So the licensing to release something that's effectively a toy is much different from what I understand it, right? So the arcade one-up was a nice like in-between, but still that, that wasn't exactly what everybody wanted, you know? It was cool, but bro, it was like 600 bucks or some shit like that. Here's what's crazy. People were willing to go out and spend for literally all of these games in one machine, $600. People wanted this shit so bad, they bought a machine. That shit sold out in fucking no time. $600. People bought it. You did. I did. Like, that's the crazy part. People fucking did. And here's what's wild. Even if people go out and buy the Dreamcast version now, guess how much it costs? Dreamcast Marvel 2 is like 150 bucks. Marvel 2 on PlayStation 2? The worst version, missing animations and is all fucked up, even that version is near $200. People still want to play the game and people don't want to emulate. That's the thing that I learned is that if, if Free Marvel 2 didn't explode the way it did, then obviously people would have just gone to emulation. Clearly, people would have just jumped right over to emulation. That's what you would do. That's been available in emulation for 10 plus fucking years. And we had a conversation about this last night when we were talking about a CBS2 collection. I'm saying a very, very large majority of people do not want to deal with that shit. Where they just don't even see emulation as being a possibility. They just want the game to exist in some way where they're willing to spend $600 on a machine that just does it for them. Launch day of this game is going to have more people playing Marvel 2 at any one point in history. In history. And in one single moment, one collection of humans, all playing Marvel 2 at the same time on launch day, more people will be playing Marvel 2 than any time in the game's history. What are the new odds? No, it can totally happen. Like, what's crazy is that, like, the new odds, that those odds were for Marvel versus Capcom anything, right? It was one in 14,605. I just use exclamation point Marvel 4, but that's the thing. 
exclamation point Marvel 4, those odds were there because it was impossible. It was impossible. Why wasn't this announced at Evo? Oh my God! Dude, Evo's in a month, right? If this was announced at Evo, people would have been crying. Like it's a Michael Jackson concert in the 80s. Motherfuckers would have been crying on the ground. Legit cry. People would be holding each other. That's also pretty huge. For the first time ever in the series history is MVC on a Nintendo platform. Ever. CVS 2 was not MVC. MVC 2 was not on GameCube, dude. Bro, did Chrome just die? I think it did. Oh, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god, the resolution of this art. Welcome back to Bro, Thanos is over here. Bro, this is Doom's arm down here. Oh my god, man. I need- we need this in a poster, Capcom. I need this in a massive poster. They fulfilled their end of the deal. That's all I'm gonna say. We showed up, we made a big stink three years ago. A big stink for this. They- they called us, right? So now, clearly, if this do- if this does good, this is the exact same way things went down in the late 2000s with Marvel 2. This is the exact same way. If you give a shit about the future of the series, if you, if you want them to do something in the future, this is how they do it. This is a special case situation because these games have been unavailable and, and never available in most situations or unpurchasable in so long. So there's a bit more of a pull here than like some of the Darkstalkers releases and stuff like that because now, dude, it's Marvel 2. It's Marvel 2 and everything that came before it. It has been gone.